Youth Runner here with uh, Sacred Heart uh, Cathedral Prep star Miles Cook, 1346 in the second boys varsity race. Uh, phenomenal showdown with him and Connor Lott from Clovis North. Here at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational, we're at Golden Gate Park. Uh, of course, right around 2.78 miles. Uh, uh, and Miles, like I said to Connor, if I didn't know any better, I, I, I would have thought that somebody dropped me off in November. Because like this is a September 7th race. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do the, uh, uh, the rest of the year. I mean. You never gave him an inch. He never gave you an inch. Every surge that you had, he responded. Every surge that he had, you responded. Like, how good did it feel just to be in a battle like that? Yeah, no, it was uh, it was really nice to be in a, in a fun battle early on in the season. I think um, uh, just being able to you know go toe to toe with a runner this early on is uh, it's always really fun. Great to have the opportunity to do that. So, uh, yeah, it was super super. Uh, happy to be able to do that this early in the season so because obviously you know when you're in guys you know in, in your own league and you know your own section in, in your own division but I mean obviously it's the reason that Clovis North gets away from you know Buchanan and Clovis East and all those teams here you know to be able to come find guys like Miles Cook and you know and programs like Bellarmine and you know and uh, and you know and yours and so many, uh, so many others like how, how you know how good of an evaluation is it for you to, uh, just to kind of like you, uh, be able to test your fitness I mean obviously it's one thing to be able to see where you're at in workouts but you know when the gun goes off and you actually have to respond you know in the second and third mile of a race like, like you know how significant and meaningful is that for you this early in the year uh, I think it's big especially because I haven't done a lot of uh, speed work so far so like being able to kind of have that have that speed for how quick that race went out uh, and being able to dig in that last mile uh, is big. I mean, I've just been doing work off tempos and all that, and I think I've barely breached like five flat in my workouts, so I didn't really expect to come out and do this here today. Uh, so I think it's I think it's a big indicator that I'm further along in the season than I thought I was. Uh, and I mean, you know, I may not have won the, the race, but I'd say uh, this race was uh, was nothing but positive. Yeah, it's going to be big time beneficial uh, by the time we get to November when it matters most. Exactly. How would you assess overall miles? Just what summer training uh, looked like, you know, go, uh, going in uh, uh, to, uh, to this season, you know, in comparison to the past, and just you know, where you feel like the, you know, not only the confidence is, but also like the enthusiasm and the optimism, uh, you know, are with with regards to uh, to fitness and just you know, being able to challenge yourself in ways that you never have before. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think the biggest difference for me was definitely mileage. I ramped up mileage big time this summer, and I mean, I'm paying uh, reaping the rewards. So. Uh, I think last summer I was kind of sitting around 40s to 50s and I'd uh, been like 75 for a lot of the end of the summer so I think that's paid massive dividends. Uh, I think that's definitely the biggest biggest change for me and also just taking it more seriously, you know, uh, being fully there and training and everything else. Obviously a lot of that is just, you know, the evolution of, you know, being an upperclassman, you know, be, uh, being, you know, be, being a leader, uh, but is, is it also one of those things where it's like, I, I want to be able to get, you know, every ounce out, you know, out of, uh, I mean, because potential can often be, you know, uh, a double-edged sword, right? You know, the, the people that, you know, that, uh, that, that, that realize it, you know, everybody said, you know, all along from the time that you were, you know, a uh, you know, athlete in, you know, in junior high or middle school or, you know, as a freshman or whatever, it's like, oh yeah, we always thought Miles could, could, could be that. But for you personally, it's like, if I don't reach that potential, it's like, I don't want to feel like I'm letting myself down or, you know, my support system down. So is, is just the investment that you've taken this year, uh, just, uh, you know, really wanting to be able to realize your potential and maximize it? I mean, clock's sick and it's senior year, so I, it's like, why not go all in? Why not try and get the most you can out of your high school career? So it's really like, hey, we have one last shot to do something special here. I might as well go all in. Like, if I get injured, I, you know, I came out, I said I tried, I did everything I could to get the most from my body this year, and we go again in college. But so far, it's been going great for me, It's uh, and I, I feel like I'm really on the, on the track to a great season. So I think it's a lot of just like, hey, I'm trying to get the most out of what I can. And uh, it's been working so far. So. Fantastic. Uh, last thing, not only for you, but, uh, but for the group, because you know, being a senior and really just, you know, not not only the races themselves, but just cherishing, you know, the moments like this, like you know, uh, you know being with the group. I mean, obviously, you guys are really close to home, you know, yeah. here. But uh, you know, just you know, going to Saturday invitationals, you know, and you know, and just having the opportunity to, uh, to be together and continue to uh, to grow as, as a group is is that aspect uh, kind of more. You know, more present in your mind this year, but it's just like, hey, you know, you know there's a, there's always going to be more races in college, but I'm never going to have the opportunity to do it with these guys. Every single day in training, every opportunity we get to race, it's never going to be the same again with these guys. Like, is that something that you're really mindful of? No, 100%. I mean, our uh, our group of seniors that were here last year are gone, so now it's kind of time for me and the, the number two on our team to kind of take the rein, you know, lead the underclassmen, lead, lead those younger guys on the team and kind of be like, hey, you know, this is, show them the, what it takes when you put in the work. Uh, and I think we're, 
you know, we're seeing a lot of the guys really start to take stuff more seriously, so that's really nice. Uh, and then as a varsity team, yeah, like, it's a special group of guys, so I'm kind of cherishing every moment I have with them and, you know, just, just trying to get the most out of it. Like, make those special moments, you know, remember them. Make Absolutely. them feel special, so, yeah. Uh, not only an impactful senior year for Miles Cook, but also continuing the great legacy and tradition of Sacred Heart uh, Cathedral Prep. Uh, he knows what it means to wear SHC uh, across his chest. Uh, again, 1346, phenomenal indication of where Miles Cook is only on September 7th. Can't wait to see full 5K courses uh, and obviously the ones that matter the most in October and November. Miles, stay healthy. Congrats. Thank you.